Okay, welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. We're about to get a guided tour of the Neil Trimaran. We did one last year. It was bigger than this. I did a little walkabout on my own last yes. year. Yes, yeah, so and we didn't have a guided tour. So we're definitely gonna do a guided tour so we don't miss any of the features like we did last year. This is a slightly smaller version, which is probably better for our price range. So uh, hopefully it's great. Stay tuned. We anchor and hoist a sail. Okay, just as clarification as to missing features last year. Last year we did a walkthrough review of the Neil 51 foot trimaran and we missed a bunch of features because we didn't know enough about the Neil and the salespeople on board didn't really show us any attention or point out anything. So we missed stuff and we got a little bit of flack about that. So this year we've only done guided tours and this episode is going to be the guided tour of the Neil 47, a little smaller than last year's boat. And it's going to be from the North American sales manager. Now this gentleman is clearly from France, so English is not his first language, but we got to give him a round of applause because he gave every feature of this boat in a foreign language. Now, if I tried to do that in French, it would be a nightmare. So he did an awesome job, I think. And if you're interested in Anil Trimaran, this episode will be well worth it. Side note, I asked him to introduce himself at the beginning of this video, but he didn't say his name. So I have a business card. I hope that's his name because that's the name you're seeing right now. Uh, yeah, I work for the shipyard. So I work for the Neil factory. Um, I'm sales area manager. So uh, the, um, I, I work to bring the ID of a trimaran in the US market. Right. So that's why we had last year the 51, 51. and now we have the 47. So basically the main ID of a trimaran is the weight distribution. Any vehicles have to put all the weight in the middle to have a better weight distribution. So mm -hmm. any vehicle, like plane, like car, and for both of of course, it's better to have all the heavy stuff here in a central hull. Mm -hmm. So we take off the habitability of the central hull mm -hmm. uh, and we put that in a main level above the three hull. Okay. So the idea is to have something quite wide, open, very comfortable, oriented for the owner, very nice area and a good performance. So for the same level of comfort, you have a faster boats because that's due to you know the uh, structure of a trimaran the trimaran is more faster more safer and more comfortable f compared to the same level of comfort so that's why we built trimaran okay. so structurally we are in a monohull mm -hmm. okay so with two hammers to stabilize the boats so the motion of a trimaran it's much more smoother than a cat on a rough sea okay. and on very soft and you know very light wind four or five knots of wind to 30 knots of wind 13 so sorry uh, we go we can reach the wind speed okay you know, with a regular uh, sail plan you know so it's quite good we design both for the owners okay for the sailors okay so the idea is to have something very comfortable but also have very huge technical area. So that is the case of this, you know, machinery space. Okay, at this point I'll voice over because once I stick my shotgun mic and my camera in there, you really can't hear what he's saying. This is that big engine room that everybody complained we didn't film last year. And I got to admit, it is huge in there. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of shelving. I think they could have used the space a little bit better. Nice space to be able to work here. Yeah. So here we have this part, we named that the cocoon. Uh, so that is the merge between the saloon, the saloon inside saloon and the cockpit. So with these sliding doors, we have two sliding doors and we can, you know, split this area in two parts. And also okay. we can close this area with a tent. A space, you know, with many possibility, outside, inside, private, outside, um, cockpit here. So it's very good for, for the owner. Now just for the viewers, because I noticed you ducked getting through there and they're going to ask why Why did you need to duck? You're very tall. So say, uh, a duck, sorry? You yeah, had to duck right. through the doorway and people will want to know how tall are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, in meters, it's 1.95. Uh, okay, uh, I'm just thinking you're at least 6'5". In feet? In feet, yeah, something like that. So he's tall. I yeah. tell you, duck, and people are going to think, is this boat really short? But yeah. no, you're just really yeah, tall. Yeah. So. I know we have a we have a very nice space. Yeah, uh, I'm, I have so. no problem with the headroom, but I just mm -hmm. you're a very yeah. tall man. So yeah. So here we have a very um, this is a very cutting edge layout. So here 
we have the inside uh, space for you know uh, to dwell the boat here so it's very uh, very comfortable and we are directly on the owner cabin just right here So the idea is to um, for the owner to be able to reach each part of the boat very you know quickly. Yeah. So uh, to the galley, here to the saloon, we can also watch you know uh, the the chart table very easily. Right. Here we can have something for a kid, you know, oh, I see it or for people because it's quite long, um, or to take a nap for the watch. Yeah. Or, so it's. And we have storage underneath. So here's the galley with two things, <laughs> with two big drawers. So one fridge, uh, one, uh, two, two fridge. So good capacity. And here the freezer. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. And storage. We can equip, you know the boat with oven, with any other equipment we need on board. Okay. And also on the back we can have here some storage and also here. So here, like on the 51, we have also a technical room. So there is one access for on the 51 for the technical room. Right. And here we have one access to but separate from the yeah, that's what we missed last year when we did our review. We didn't know about this, and so people were commenting. We did, we missed the best part, which was the engine yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to to go down, uh, here we go. Janice is down in the engine hey. room. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So here we have a very nice um, working area or technical area yeah. with all the feature for the electronics, the boiler here, all the pipes. So it's very clear, very easy to you know to know to, to have maintenance to work on it yeah so here's the water heater um, and here we have also batteries uh, it's the all in tank just over there and batteries here just here so everything is access accessible it's very simple or you know easy to work yeah and an escape hatch as well here. So here we have the washing machine too. Oh, washing machine! Look how cute! Look how cute the washing machine it's is. It's a washing uh, washer dryer uh, machine. And under we have all the all the, the, oh, the, the fuel tanks. tanks exactly, and uh, the water tank here. Oh yeah. So all the weights are here in, in the, the middle. Center. In the center. Mm, yep. exactly. Here. In the front, we want something very, you know, a huge um, shower parts and heads uh, for the owner. So when you go here, <coughs> okay, so you got your sink right here in the yeah. main entrance. So sink, drawers, lockers here, and here we have a big, you know, yeah. So it's very, very good capacity, mm -hmm. and also a wet locker just over there. Okay, so this is a wet locker in here. So you all your switches are right here in the main area. I'll just film that as well. So you have your switches. Okay. Here we have the heads. Okay. So okay. here's the sink. Is it covered underneath? And, and the have, shower for and the tall shower. people. The tall yeah. people shower. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> very, you know, wide. Yeah. Lots of elbow room. high, you know, quite comfortable. Also, here we have anti reflex windows. So, reverse windows. It's to have, you know, um, a roof more, you know, longer mm -hmm. and to protect, you know, from the sun. Because when you have the window like this, the sun, it's, you know, the, the, the yeah. sense, yeah. it's more he heats up inside. The place, so yeah. we want something well protected to have a, you know, very cool area here. 
and we have a very nice view when we are in the kitchen here on the galley sorry mm -hmm. we can have a nice view and even if we are on the back on the outer cockpit we see very well the the front to go to uh, the home station, we have a very safe passage here, a way with these <laughs> stairs, and we can go also by outside, and it's very secure because you go through this passage here, this way, and also to this way, but it's not outside. Right. So when you are, you know, in a rough sea, it's very, you know, secure. So here on this land station, we have everything to maneuver the boats. So we can, you know, use the boats with a very small crew. So uh, with what, just one people uh, or two, it's very easy to maneuver the sails because every yard, uh, reef, line, everything are here. Two or three people can sit here on this area, mm -hmm. so it's very, it's a nice area for people because it's a social area too. So the the, the skipper it's not alone, you know, at the you know at the hand station, so he can be with you know some you know with his crew. The boom, it's very accessible too, so you can store you know the sails very easily with just with the stripes like this, so it's very simple, no zip. Okay. And here we have a sand deck for a nap. And I've noticed the so solar that's built right onto this yeah. roof. Is yeah. that standard or is that an option? It's an option. It's okay. an option. And how much, do, how much do you, can you fit on here? Yeah, almost uh, 800 watts or more because we can have seven solar panels here. Okay. So uh, it's a sodium solar panel, it's a top quality solar panel in the market. Flex, flexible you, solar panel. You can walk on it and all that? Yeah, yeah. exactly. There is an anti, um, you know, anti-skid, anti anti -skid, yeah. you know, grip. So yeah. Here we want something very... It's, it's a very cutting edge out layout, as I say. So we have guest cabin, guest cabin with an outside access for two reasons. Because we have, we want something very private for the owner, and that's to not, you know, you know, uh, break the inside uh, living area. So the bet we made it's for have good performance boats. We want something quite narrow with for a very you know very fast boats mm -hmm. and on this volume we have a very roomy and nice you know guest cabin for the you know for for, for people they have a lot of privacy and autonomy here because here this 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 starter room is a wet starter room okay so you can unwear you store many things here oh yeah so you can use this space for storage the thing is it's a wet area mm -hmm. so that could be used like a wet area so we said okay why can we do the shower here inside mm -hmm. so we have here the shower mm -hmm. okay. with here a panel with a smoke you know, the last. Mm -hmm. Okay, for privacy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, if you want to go down, so, so here again, so here's tall. Yeah. Tall guy fits in here. Here, so a uh, skylight here, big windows, a very yeah. nice double bed here. It is a good size bed. Another hatch here. Oh. <laughs> it's condensation. Yes, I know <laughs> what happens on our boat too. Yeah. So um, so it's a very nice double bed with light, so and here storage. Yeah. And also there is storage Pleasant. underneath. Yeah, there's quite a a spot to stow things under there. Huge. Yeah. And on this area we can also add a heads. So we diagram over here. Yeah yeah. Of the future. So I see. Yeah. 
we we can't have a, a, a head here or not. Uh, under the stairs? Yeah, under okay. the stairs. Because people want sometimes nothing in this area because they say, okay, we are just two of us. And yeah. So, but if we have guests, and so we have this very nice, um, very nice cabin, yeah. and we can install here a permanent head. Okay. So under the ladder, so that fits perfectly, and it's an, you know, a, like a, a swing ladder. Yeah, yeah. A swing ladder. Okay. So you can you just open it, mm -hmm. and you have the head here, so you can use it. That's awesome. And you, you know, right. Okay, that's and good. Then, uh, yeah. Exactly. Otherwise, the other option is because the head is in the center, away from the owner's yeah. berth. Yeah. They can just go straight to the middle of and yeah, not it's, be. It's a day head yeah. there. Yeah. But for privacy for yeah. the guest, yeah. uh, each cabin has its head. Okay. So three heads, three heads. Okay. Good. So here we have a very safe passage to, 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 the, to the bow. And here we have a locker, just here, another one. Quite big, quite deep. And here we have we can have an additional cabin here. Oh, okay. oh. So there there is a spinnaker. Yeah, you can have a crew cabin. Yeah. A bed over there too. Yeah, it's 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 quite it's nice because you can go down and you can you know take off your clothes. You can store your belongings here. So a 1.10 meters bed wide. So here we have the locker, the chain locker. Okay. Chain locker and the post thruster with batteries, dedicated, dedicated batteries for the windlass yeah. and for the bow thruster. Okay, so the bow thruster is that standard or an option? Yeah, it's 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 on a premium pack, so it's you know we are each boat we produce has a thruster. Okay, so they do have a thruster. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So what are these little? Oh, they're just for yeah, the. Yeah, it's for for the shower. Oh, it's for the. It's yeah. in the head. Right? Oh, I see. Okay, it's uh, just cool. uh, an open and open hatch. Good. It's it's the same size than the other one, and here exactly the same. Oh, oh yeah, there's a bed in there. Okay, so I can show you if you want. So it, it's quite nice because here I have, you know, a tablet here. Storage for mm -hmm. your clothes, and it's quite deep. It's great. No princess. No. <laughs> I could make one. I'll make my own. So here we have a very nice bow spread with the davits. We can have a, you know, uh, tons of chain. Uh, Every hunter can fit on this area, and here we have, you know, the fittings for the spinnaker. So, on this version, carbon mast, we can have a removable uh, uh, stay sail. Mm -hmm. So these boats tack very easily. Without the stay sail, it's you know, uh, you know, uh, it's very simple, mm -hmm. and it's due also. We, the, the boats tag very easily because we have a very rocker central hull. So that work like mono hull with a thin and that give you, you know, very, you know, it's very simple to tag. And the, because we have on trimaran, we have the, the better of the both wall, you know, compared to mono hull and catamaran. Because catamaran needs to find the best you know, compromise between very rocker hull, okay, to tack easily, or very straight floats to avoid the pitching. But we have both because the very the central hull is very rocker, so you tack very easily, and the straight floats avoid the pitching, so you have a boat very very comfortable. In a rough sea, you know, the boat goes through the waves much more smoother than any boats. So because you are very stable and the healing is quite the same. I was going to ask you about the healing. Yeah, it's yeah. quite the same than a catamaran. So um, maybe a three-four. 
just more uh, so it's, there it's is not it when you're constantly feeling on one on one tap you are going to stay on a, on a constant, kind of constant slightly yeah 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 you can you can cook him like at home and you are you know you, 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 you do what 10 so knots it's not enough to worry about cooking uh, you don't need it to be no no you don't need to you know uh, of course on a rough sea yeah. in any boat yeah. you, you, you will be shake of course but yeah, you know in a, in a flat sea normal condition you know, it's you know no problem to uh, to to walk around the boat with you know very safely. Okay. Um, so no, no, it's uh, it's very 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 nice. Okay. To, to, uh, That's just something I know that people are gonna ask. Yeah. Does it? So we have just one float out of the water, but it's like this, so it's not a lot. So right. you feel the boat, you yeah. feel the boat a little bit more than uh, a, 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 a catamaran, right. and that is good because you know you 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 feel the, you feel you know, the boat, if it's good, if you have if it's to... If uh, yeah, 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 you yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, the, cat, the cat is always still like this, so you don't know where, if your rigging uh, is uh, suffering or not. So here you feel the boat very... So that's good. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, you get a feeling exactly. more like a monohull. You feel if you're overpowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. So yeah. it's a... And also for the rig, for the rig, uh, the rigging, it's uh, because here, a catamaran yeah, also need to have a very, you know, to restrain this uh, structure and also the bridge deck yeah. because the, there is a lot of compression uh, due to the mast and the, you know, the, the rigging. So here we are on a central hull, like on a hull. So we know we don't need to restrain the structure, the structural, you know, uh, way we build it. the boats. It's, it's quite light. So these boats, it's ready to sail at 10.6 ton. So it's quite light for this mm -hmm. such boat. Mm -hmm. So this is the guest cabin that has a sink in it. There's our guest cabins at the bow that don't have any like head facilities. And like he said, under here, under these stairs, they could put a, a toilet head you know, for you behind that thing and then have the stairs be swing out if you wanted a head in every cabin. It's a solid uh, swim ladder. It's a different looking. Yeah, yeah, it's a ladder. We can have a ladder on the middle floats. Mm -hmm. So here it's a, you know, a simple ladder. And, and the, we can have a, a bigger one okay. in the in the middle. And the dinghy goes there on yeah, those on the cradle. Um, on the cradle and there. This two cradle. Right. And we use a topping leaf. Right. So I can you know, show you the way that works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, I don't know, where's where's the dinghy davits? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very simple system. So we use this topping leaf here. Every, you know, can of so we can use a remote command. So with one hand, I have the remote command, and I lift because the topping lift is connected to a line driver. It's a flat winch, okay? So with two direction, and the topping lift go down, and with my hand, you know, I put the dinghy here, or here, and I take down the dinghy in the water. So it's a very it right under these set blocks. Yeah. And there is trap here, and I, you know, tied tied up the the dinghy, and also on the pillar here, so it's very secure. Okay. So here also, just to finish, we have um, locker, big locker. So with very simple access, and we can use until the stern all this area. Okay. So we can store a lot of things here, here, and here. Okay, great. What size? Is, you have one motor, as opposed to a cat has two. What yep. size of motor? Are you? It's a 60 HP. 60? Yeah. It's a very responsive with a big rudder. We have also a theme. It's a sacrificial piece, so it's not screwed 
on the helm, just you know glue. Yeah. And so if you hit something, you know, it's a thing very super solid. Yeah. And that protects the rudder and the pressure. So with maneuvering the boats is very easy with a propeller because it's quite powerful. And also is quite you know it's the power the boat thruster it's under the amas. So when you use it, it's very efficient because you don't dist you know the float the, the water is not you know hitting the uh, yeah yeah the banjo or the other the other amas. So that's quite efficient. So you when you use it you know, you yeah, can't. Yeah. any questions, you can turn the boat very quickly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. okay. that's wonderful. So what's the price? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a base price yeah. around, oh, uh, in Euro, yeah. we have a base price around 450 thousand Euro, and one equipped, we can be, uh, you know, around 550 and uh, 650. Uh, if you take the, the carbon rig, it could be more, but yeah. it is kind of, you know, uh, so something that has a uh, proper water maker generator, yeah, all that is about yeah, yeah. how much? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's uh, 6, uh, 650. 650. Okay. Yeah, 650. And that's in euros? Yeah, 650. And with the carbon rig, we can... Uh, yeah, 650 is good. Yeah. It's a good price, very well equipped. Very well equipped. Uh, okay, that's good. I appreciate your time and thanks no, for giving us an okay. excellent guide to yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's, it's well the pleasure. Hello. Hello, good evening. And welcome back to Cruising Off Duty and our post-game show, so to speak. We just reviewed the footage of this uh, Neil 47. Yeah. I'm um, a little unsure what I think, but I'm going to let you go first. Pros, cons, anything you've uh, Well, it was unique, for sure. It had a different layout and there were some nice things and... Like the master cabin had a huge bed in it, and obviously it was very bright because it had all the windows that you could ever ask for in a in a cabin. Um, the layout, like when you had the, the when they had the, the sliding doors open, the seating areas, the combined nice. cocoon, you called it, yeah. was very open and nice. And the kitchenette had, you know, two sinks. It was a, a U shape, and it was mm -hmm. okay. Like I found the I like the, the finishings very. You know, they were Euro, I guess. That's very... Ikea? Yeah. Sort of. Very edgy. Very yeah. edges. Yeah, like a lot of sharp edges. Lots of edges. Yeah. Um, but the salon was my favorite part of the boat. I mean, yeah. if you had to... I did like it. Uh, the open concept thing yes. was good. Big I, feeling. I, I, yeah, big I did like that. And the cockpit slash salon was nice and big and bright. Mm -hmm. I did like the that you could see out perfectly, like nice 360 mm -hmm. The degree. windows were big. Yeah, and, and, right. and, and like you said, they're straight up and down so the sun doesn't beat in, mm -hmm. warm up the inside. So there were some nice features. I wasn't totally sold on this master bedroom being like kind of right there where the galley is and everything because I'm thinking, I'm always picturing us having at least yeah. one other couple visiting us. Yeah. And not everybody wants to go to bed at the same time. So if the master bedroom people are trying to go to sleep and somebody else decides they want to stay up in the, in the salon and talk or, and or do something in the galley or even use the only one and only real bathroom on the boat they're walking right by the master cabin mm -hmm. so i don't know you're not getting a lot of privacy that way it's nice to be so close to the action like you said i do like the idea of going down into my owner's hall and being away from everybody the door and yeah privacy big area to myself privacy. and you don't have that you're kind of right in the middle of the hub when you're sleeping so that's it and then the, of course your guests which we're assuming we'd have you know a couple guests that a lot of the time you know not mm -hmm. all the time but enough of the time yeah, that those that's a factor you got to look into do you want your guests being in an essence a skinny little capsule with really no full-fledged head it's a sink with a hand shower no toilet but they say they can put one in if you really really want one under the stairs with the swinging thing i don't know that's pretty roughing it for your guests i think so i wasn't in love and, and with my that. guests will likely be my children yeah yeah probably and and I want adult children yeah. coming with their maybe their children and yeah, and the spouses. You know, and, they, and I know there's privacy. He was selling it as the privacy of the uh, the mm -hmm. separate cabin out there. The owners and the guests don't have to really interact. But I kind of want to interact with people yeah. a little bit more than that. It's nice to have you know you're on one hall in a normal catamaran. You're on one hall and your guests are on the other hall and, and you kind of meet, meet in the middle. middle. I feel like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. And then you can go up and like I could go up and make tea and do whatever, and not worry yeah. about disturbing or vice versa. Right. And they have their own full fledged head in their side with a usually a full stand up shower and you know a, a real toilet not one that's under a staircase and so mm, not saying i love it but so. like the the utilities rooms were was nice were great like there was the yeah engine big room space and the yeah a lot of people like that systems factor. room that had the lawn, the washer and dryer in it kind of a weird but, spot to have a laundry room though yeah. because you got to go down there to do your laundry so. you go down a ladder to yeah. the cellar so 
It's like a cellar. Yeah. So what I think this boat has, for those people who like it, it is a monohull. He kind of yeah. mentioned that. It is a monohull. So if you're a monohull sailor, he was saying how this will tack really easy through the wind because it, in essence, is a monohull with two pontoons sticking out the sides. Mm. So that's a pro for monohull people because it will tack well and, and it'll tack quickly, much more quickly than a normal it'll catamaran. Lean and feel more it will like feel a more like a, a mono because it will lean. It does heal when it sails. He even said that one. One pontoon will be deep in the water if you're, you know, in a, in a pretty good blow, and the other one will be up out of the water. And I'll throw some pictures of what it looks like when it's sailing, and you can see it is keeled over, which we're not really wanting because uh, one thing I loved about the two transatlantics I've done on catamarans is you can literally put your coffee mug down, a jar of peanuts, whatever, and go to the head, come back, and it's still going to be on the table. If you're in a boat that's healing mm -hmm. through waves and it's always on the heel, stuff's just going to slide off yeah, the table. Healing is one of the main things I don't get a kick out of. Yeah. Not because I'm afraid of it. I just find it annoying and inconvenient. You put everything away <laughs> when you want to go sailing. So right. the monohull people who really love monohulls, this might be a boat for you. Yeah. It's probably good performance. It probably tacks well upwind. It probably sails really fast, but it's a monohull with two pontoons mm -hmm. on the side. So if that's what you're looking for, this might be the boat for you. I don't think it's the boat for us. I don't see myself on it, no, no. but uh, it was nice. Yeah. Like, we didn't dislike it, no. but we didn't love it. So no. there we go. Okay, hopefully you found this entertaining or informative, more likely informative this time. If so, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up and... Subscribe! Yep, so until next time, this is Craig and Janice signing off, wishing you safe cruising, and ciao for now. We anchor and hoist the sail. A special shout out to our patrons that show the channel some love with more than just thumbs up. We love you guys. If you want to know more about that, go to patreon.com slash cruisingoffduty. And if you want to follow us in any of our social media, the easiest way is probably just to go to cruisingoffduty.com and all the links are there. If you're one of those lucky people that has a sailboat in some beautiful tropical area, being able to sail 12 months of the year, just know that we are super jealous. Can't wait for the day where we can do the same thing because we are living with winter here in Canada and it's tough. So we have a Caribbean cruise booked for this January just to get away from it because we hate winter. Anyways, enjoy your sailing and ciao for now.